What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another player review. So today we are taking a look at this epic Manchester United pack. We've got Ruud van Nistelrooy, Schmeichel and Dennis Irwin. So Schmeichel and Irwin are epic players and van Nistelrooy is a big time player. So it's hard to say, you know, which is better. I have trained up van Nistelrooy, Schmeichel and Irwin slightly different and I'm going to give you two options. I think that the best thing about these cards is obviously they've got a good few levels to go. Um, and obviously they're going to get up to like 97, 98 overall, depending on how you train them up, right? So for me, I think the best thing that you're going to want to do here um, is, you know, effectively look at the stats. We've, we're going to start with Ruud van Nistelrooy, who's probably the pick of him. A um, bit disappointed he doesn't have unwavering form, man, but obviously with the B rating, that's not going to really come into it. Uh, it does overcompensate with that B rating for the epic players, but yeah, I would have liked to see an unwavering form for Ruud. Uh, he's probably going to be one of the most unique players that we have. He's not lightning quick, but he's got serious finishing ability, excellent defensive awareness. Um, but there are a couple of issues with this card that we're going to get into in a second. You're going to have to make a couple of concessions with this card, uh, just simply because I don't think that you're going to be able to get like an all in one um, card here that's going to like do it for you across the board because yeah we'll get to it in a second right so the best thing about him obviously is his finishing ability which you could be able to max out at 90 which is quite good and then his offensive awareness which we're going to max out as well acceleration and speed are obviously low but his balance is killer here man that's what we're going to have to train up quite a bit uh, depending on our play style. Like, Ruven Isray is not going to be a run-and-gun type player. He's going to be, you know, kind of getting on the end of stuff. He is a fox in the box, so he will play a little bit different than a deep line forward or, you know, a speedster up front such as Mbappe. Um, but yeah, this is how I would train him, right? So we're over on eFootball DB here. It's all been updated with the new Season 3 stuff so far. Um, we've got 66 progression points to pump in to uh, Van Isleroy look right this is how i would probably train him i have two ways right so the first way is if you were a very clinical finisher if you like using big players to break the ball down the meta has slightly changed i'm going to have a video out quite soon about where i think the gameplay is kind of going with the way that they've made some changes um but this is how i would probably train uh van Nistelrooy up if i'm looking simply for a finisher right you don't need to worry too much about dribbling all you need to worry about, in my opinion, is just being an absolute insane finisher. Now, the biggest problem with this card, in my opinion, is his actual speed um, and balance, right? Now, we can train him up. He goes to a 98, no matter what way you really train him. But yeah, I would put 8 into shooting, 14 into dexterity, which is quite a lot, and 4 into dribbling, 7 into lower body, and 6 into aerial strength, right? If you don't put in a lot of crosses and you don't score a lot of crosses... You can actually take that down pretty much the whole way because his base stat is okay, like physical contact and stuff is fine at that. And then you can decide whether you want to max out his offensive awareness, right, and go 99, or else you want to actually, you know, boost up that um, a little bit here and then go with the speed a little bit, right? You also could, if you wanted to, um, pump up one more into his shooting. But I think at 90 finishing, you should be enough. So for me, depending on your play style, if you like an all well-rounded center forward that can header, that can do everything, you can pump in a little bit uh, of his aerial strength and, you know, lower down the dexterity or whatever if you want to do that. Um, that's up to you. I mean, there is multiple ways of training him up, but I do think getting that dexterity up for that offensive awareness is key for this card because he doesn't have lightning pace. But if you've got nearly maxed out offensive awareness, he's going to make insane runs when he is going forward with the ball. He's going to be pointing all over the place for where he wants the ball. Dribbling, you're never going to get that too high or passing, so he's not going to be an all-round center forward. So you need to you need to kind of think about that. But yeah, a very interesting card, and hopefully we'll be able to get a good review of him going quite soon. So moving back to Schmeichel, we're not going to spend as much time on Schmeichel. Um, you know what you're going to be getting with Schmeichel, lads. I mean, as ever, I've heard a couple of people say that you know Schmeichel is going to be one of the best keepers here, especially this epic version. We've had him before. Uh, low punt, long throw, excellent. Lovely height, 193. So it puts him on par with the likes of uh, Donnarumma, who's the best keeper in the game, in my personal opinion. Oliver Kahn and the likes of them. He is going to be locked on B form, but he has unwavering form with the B rating is going to be huge. And when we do actually look at his base stats, 80 in awareness and 84 reflexes and 84 reach. So he kind of has the best stats that you could possibly want. Now, we are going to go over to eFootballDB again and look at this card maxed out. 
a lot of people have kind of asked me how important reach is, right? I've kind of done a lot of testing on reach. If the goalkeeper is under 190 centimeters, you need to kind of boost up reach a little bit. You definitely do, right? Because um, because the keepers are a little bit shorter, you definitely need your reach. Uh, you know, Kaylor Navas is, a, is a, an excellent example of that. He's a shorter goalkeeper. Cassius is the same. They're not tall enough that you can get away with not really upgrading the reach, right? But first, Michael... We're going to just focus on his reflexes and his awareness. We don't need to focus too much on um, his catching, although that will go up with the reflexes. So what I would be doing is I'd be maxing that out at 90, 92. I'd be pumping this up to maybe 85 to get the goalkeeper reach um, up a little bit. Even though we don't need the goalkeeper reach up massively, we do want to get the goalkeeper clearing up slightly. We don't need to go too much. I would probably go four there. And then the rest is going to be awareness jump and reflexes that's where i would probably pump it um i think that that's probably the key there to his card getting a 95 goalkeeper reflexes is huge and obviously you can train him up with the auto allocation but i think that's the best version of him now you could get away with the awareness there and have one more into reflexes uh that depends on how you want to train him i definitely think 95 is enough to be honest with you probably 94 is enough and 92 awareness if you wanted to go that route um but i do think having 95 is huge and 91 is uh, is enough for the awareness so this puts him in stat wise on par with, with the best keepers in the game uh definitely top three and then last but not least we have kind of the hidden gem of this pack obviously all eyes are going to be on 98 rude van nistroy and 97 schmeichel but don't sleep on the irishman dennis Irwin. absolute legend absolute beast offensive fullback but look at these base stats, man, right? Number one, he's got a wavering form. One of the most consistent players ever to play in the Premier League and for Manchester United. I think he's still a little bit underrated, man, as to how good he was on the ball. Like, he was so, so good. Um, amazing run, speeding bullet, long ranger. Very unique play style for the AI. And then the player skills. We've got fighting spirit and inter interception. I would have liked to have seen one or two more passing skills here, like one-touch pass because he was brilliant at that Alex Ferguson style play, one touch pass um, and possession. I know he's more of a possession player, but pretty much lets Denny can do everything, right? He can do absolutely everything. We've got 31 levels, which gives us 60 of, uh, progression points to go. We could, right? If you want a good free kick taker, you could have a left footed player, but I don't think you should with the pass or with the shooting. Passing, I think for a left back is enough if you boost up that to four points into passing straight off the rip and then we're going to have the dribble and we're going to try and get that up to 80 so eight points into that obviously it'll take three after that so that's enough for the progression points now this is where we need to make a couple of decisions on him right if you want dennis Irwin um to be literally going to be you know like one of the best players that you have uh, going forward then I definitely don't think you need to worry too much about defending right you do need to have a left back that can do everything but the trick to having a good left back uh, if you want to have a well-rounded player if you want him to be more attacking is you guessed it you need to have higher offensive awareness so if we boost that up to 80 and leave defensive awareness at 75 we're going to get 81 acceleration on top of that and then it's all about just the rest pumping into his speed and stamina you can get 90 stamina right that's if you want a roberto carlos type player now i would also put on maybe two in defending there just to get his tackling up to 80 that's a serious card man that's going to be just on par with Roberto Carlos in terms of obviously you're not going to have the blister and pace but you're going to have the kind of like um consistency there with the passing and with the actual getting up and down the pitch and he won't be as attacking as Roberto Carlos now for me I think that's kind of a bit of a waste on this card I think you should use Dennis Irwin as a really solid uh option for left back so yeah you do want your dribbling to be good but 75 is enough for the dribbling in my opinion and then obviously the dexterity, we don't need that as high. We can pump that down to eight. We can leave the lower body at maybe 10 points there. And then the rest are going to go into defending, right? So we're going to put eight into defending. You're going to get a really solid defender there. Yeah, we'll give one more into stamina just to get it to 90. And then we'll probably put two more into acceleration to bring him up to a 93 overall. We're not hitting the 94 max allocation overall, but I think that's the best version of him there. You've got defense. You've got 86 tackling and aggression, which is huge. You've got 84 lofted pass. You've also got eight acceleration with 91 
kicking power and 90 stamina so you've got a well-rounded left back that can do it all so that is it lads for the manchester united pack um we'll be back quite soon let me know if you're going to spin or skip on that I, i'm kind of torn uh, i mean roy Keane and that i would have emptied the pack but i do think that ruben isra is a very unique player and i would like erwin as well um you know schmeichel obviously donna and him would be able to battle it out if i got schmeichel but let me know if you'd like to see me open a pack lads until next time i'll be back quite soon peace